Hello guys, Bingo Cat here. So, sorry I haven't been really making many videos lately. I've been really busy in real life. Like, I've had finals at my college, and then I have summer school that started up, and then my internship, I've been working hours there, and you know, that kind of stuff, and been playing some new games, doing some other personal stuff, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, today I am back with a new video. So today's video, I'm gonna compare the operating systems Windows Vista Business 64-bit versus Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. So a little bit of a history lesson. Windows Vista, all versions of Windows Vista was released in early 2007 to really not very great fanfare because Windows Vista, the original version, was extremely buggy, did not run on the computers of that day, not really. It, you pr pretty much needed a brand spanking new computer to run Windows Vista. And computers that was marked as Windows Vista capable in 2005 and 6 weren't actually... I mean, they could run Windows Vista, but they could run the version of Windows Vista known as Windows Vista Home Basic. At least I think that's what they had. Um, but yeah, Windows Vista wasn't a very good operating system. And even though it went through two service packs that pretty much fixed most of the problems, Windows Vista wasn't a very well received operating system. So after the Windows Vista disaster, Microsoft decided to make another operating system called Windows 7. As you guys may very well have known, Windows Vista and Windows 7 look almost exactly the same, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you why. Windows 7 was basically took Windows Vista and fixed all the problems. That's it. Besides the new taskbar, there really aren't that many features in Windows 7 that didn't exist in Windows Vista. Windows 7 is Windows Vista with all the problems fixed. Okay? So, now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a closer comparison of both operating systems. So I got Windows Vista and Windows 7 um, both running in VMware Workstation here. So let's go ahead and power on each. Let's see which one boots up faster. Probably Windows Vista because I started it sooner. Alright, so as you guys can see, the Windows Vista sort of had a, what do you call them, a status bar here. Windows 7 doesn't. Windows Vista looks like it's winning this boot race only because I started it a little bit sooner. Otherwise, they're pretty much both the exact same. Alright, so let's go ahead and type in my super secret passcode here. And same thing over here. Now you may notice that when you originally install Windows Vista, um, Windows Vista has something called Windows Gadgets enabled by default. Now for those of you who don't really know what gadgets are, they're basically, they're like Android widgets, okay? Except for Windows. Basically before Windows 8, in Windows Vista and Windows 7, these are little programs that would run on your desktop that can do stuff like let you view news, let you view the time, let you view your CPU's data. In Windows Vista, this comes enabled by default, and by default, it's in a little sidebar here that you can um, that you can get rid of too if you want, or they let you drag it around the desktop. Windows 7, by default, it doesn't have gadgets enabled, but by default, it's not really pinned to a sidebar, they let you drag it around the desktop. Um, and so, as you guys can see, Windows Vista is here on the left, Windows 7 here on the right. They both have an interface called Windows Arrow. Now, Windows Arrow actually isn't enabled in Windows Vista right now because I was having problems resizing the screen in Windows Vista and it wouldn't let me enable by default, but Windows 7 has Arrow. Now, for those of you who don't know, Windows Arrow is the interface used in Windows Vista and Windows 7 that allows for this translucency glass effect here. So, like, you can see other windows below it. And when Windows Vista was released, um, Arrow was praised for being extremely pretty. Like, it was held as, I think, being one of the prettiest operating systems of the time, but it required a uh, it required, you know, resources. Like, it required a good graphics card, it required a good CPU, everything. So Windows Vista, when it was released, did not run well, or at all, on most of the computers released back then. Like, if you bought a brand new spanking computer at the end of 2005, early 2006, this came out one year later. You probably could not run Windows Arrow on there. And this, I'm talking about like high-end computers too, that would not run Windows Vista at all, okay? So, as far as other areas of the operating system goes, so this has the pre-Windows 7 taskbar, 
where basically you just open a window on here and as you can see it like each individual window for example like if you wanted to open hmm, I don't know another instance of Windows Explorer it would op it has two separate positions on the test square in Windows 7 it's a little bit different if you wanted to open Windows Explorer and then open another one by default they're both in basically the same icon in the task bar, the safe space. Now, I really like the task bar in Windows 7 and up better than the ones in Windows Vista and below because it's more functional, makes managing Windows so much easier compared to Windows Vistas. Now, as far as Windows Explorer goes, by the way, both Windows Vistas and Windows 7 is virtually the exact same. Windows 7 is just a little tiny bit cleaner, but other than that, they're literally the exact same program. Um, so yeah, go ahead and exit out of those. And you also notice since Windows 7 was an incremental upgrade to Windows Vista, all it was mainly was performance and stability upgrades, the icons are literally the exact same in both operating systems. All right, so some other features is if you look on the start menu on both operating systems, once again, they're virtually the exact same, except this down here. The icons, at least in Windows Vista business, are a little bit different down here. It's by default, it's standby and lock this computer instead of the shutdown button that it is in every other version of Windows. Uh, but other than that, the start menus are basically the exact same, which are the pretty much the exact same start menu that was in Windows XP. And if you click all programs, it's the exact same behavior. Let's go ahead and compare control panels. Um, as you guys can see, it's a little bit different. I like Classic View better, and Windows 7 it's called Large Icons or Small Icons View. It allows you to see more of the items at once. It looks a little bit different, but it's not really that different. Now, besides the uh, control panel, by default, Windows Vista comes with Internet Explorer 7. Windows 7 comes with Internet Explorer 8. Alright, so... Uh, about internet. This is Internet Explorer 7, which is really old, released back in 2006 and 2007. And this is really old too, this was released back in 2009. So yeah, basically both are really not modern. Both aren't modern at all, web browsers. They're pretty old. Now, Windows 7, you can update to the latest and greatest version of Internet Explorer called IE11. Um, Windows Vista, I think, they allow you to go up to IE9 and then you can't go up any farther. Um, some other things that are worth mentioning. Support for this operating system ends next year, Windows Vista. Support for this doesn't end until 2020. As far as built-in programs go, um, both Windows Vista by default comes with uh, what is essentially called Windows Live. It comes with Movie Maker, Photo Gallery. Windows 7 doesn't come with any of that for some reason. Uh, if you go into games, the business version doesn't come with any games. I think the consumer version, both Windows Vista and Windows 7, comes with literally the exact same games. Basically, Windows 7 is really just Windows Vista with better performance. And I almost think part of the reason Windows 7 runs so much better than Windows Vista is because by the time Windows 7 came out, it was almost three years after Windows Vista came out, so hardware makers had a chance to, you know, catch up with the hardware required by the operating system. So as a result, people think Windows 7 run a lot better than Windows Vista, when in reality, there's not much of a difference if you run it on the same hardware, and there isn't that much of a difference if you run Windows 8 and Windows 10 on the same hardware either. But Windows 7 was just an incremental upgrade. So yeah, that was today's video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. Hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.